So who else is sick and tired of fighting to get one tenth of an ETH nowadays? <laughs> Especially after the 1559 burn. It's insane. So I'm looking at alternatives because I'm sick and tired of fighting for that one tenth of an ETH. I want more potential gains in the future. And I'm not afraid to specul do speculative mining. So that's why today we're taking a look at Callisto Network. It also runs on the ET hash algorithm. So there's if you're already mining ETH, it's really easy to switch. I'm gonna show you that in a few minutes. But the reason why I'm doing this, I'm okay with doing speculative mining. This coin has been around for a while and its price is steady but you can also stake with it. And it's cold staking. It's not like Veriscoin where I gotta keep the desktop app open and use a little bit of power. Now that's a big deal, but this is cold staking. You literally just squirrel the money away and or the coins away and you will accrue basically interest or more coins in the long term. I think it's like 9% APR the last time I saw. But if we go on over and take a look on Hive OS, I'm getting 174 mega hash on two RX 570s and two 5700 XTs. And literally, I think it took almost a month just to get the 0.1 ETH. It's insane after the burn. It's terrible. It's time to find something better. Now, for Callisto, there is a few wallet options. We load it on up here. They have their own web wallet, um, some Garda wallet. They have Coinami, which Coinami works in desktop. Uh, although the desktop version, they don't support staking on yet. They're still working on that. They also have an Android version and I believe an iOS version that does support staking. Uh, Trust wallet, CryptoBot, and I personally am using Ledger. Unfortunately, Ledger gets weird when you're playing with Linux, and I use Linux Mint for my daily driver. And for some reason, I could not get it connect, get it to connect. Can't speak today. Get it to connect to my Ledger wallet from um, Google Chrome in Linux Mint. But if I use Firefox, which I really don't like doing, it works. So for this, I need to access it through Firefox for my Ledger wallet. So that's what we're doing today. So let's close that out. And just one more sh way to show you that this is technically speculative, but it is stable. If we go to what to mine for my four cards I have here, uh, two 5700 XTs and two 580s. Each day I get 0 0.0041 ETH before power, give or take like one or two of those or whatever. So yeah, you're fighting for crumbs at this point with Ethereum. It's insane. Um, ETC is a little bit better, but now, okay, you're at 0.14. Ravencoin, I like doing Ravencoin. I have a 3060 over at my uh, mining closet that is doing that. Uh, although that's only 3060 is getting like 25 coins a day, but you have multiple coins that you are collecting. So if Ravencoin goes to a dollar, guess what? I'm buying myself a new car. But uh, that's the idea. Even with Ergo, with those four cards, which are not optimized really for Ergo, my Vega 56s I have are, I still get at least a half a coin a day. So what we're going to look at here, there's two options. And first one here is Metaverse. That's also another ET hash alternative. Um, you get 32 coins a day and Callisto is down here. Yes, the profit is not nearly as high, but if you're looking at the profit numbers right here and that's your only determining factor, then I hope you're selling every day. That's this price is good for people who mine and sell every day. If you're going for the long term and the hodling, you need to look at the bigger picture. So, here on those four cards, I can get 587 coins. And also, look, I could make a little bit more initial cash if I did metaverse, but look at the uh, total valuation, the market cap on it 18 million a day. 
Down here, Callisto isn't worth as much, but there's more money being moved through it. It's more popular. So it's a little more of a stable. Now, if we actually look up... Okay, so if we go to CoinGecko and look up the Callisto network, CLO, you can see it's almost worth one penny right now. Now, if we scroll down and take a look at this, that's only the 24 hour. Let's open it up. 180 days. That's still being slow. There we go. So we can see it went up to two cents. It's been down as low as a half a cent, but it's been stable throughout everything. It took the little dip in July, just like everything else did, but it's following market trends. So it's a stable investment. Let's go out to one year. You can see originally one year ago, it was worth nothing. So it's been, it jumped up with everything else and now it's stable. So at least for me, it's worth it for me to mine this for a month, get a small purse and let it sit, let it stake and let's see if it accrues to something. So with all of that out of the way, and if you actually made it this far, here's the meat and potatoes of the uh, video. So it's real easy to switch from Ethereum over to Callisto Mining since they're both ET hash. Let's go into my Marvell rig, which is currently mining Ethereum. Go to flight sheets. And there's my existing flight sheet. And here's the one I made up for Callisto. The only things that really change in it is of course your wallet address. Uh, the servers, Hivon is only for Ethereum and ETC. So for the ease of this video, I just selected two miners. They have a nice interface, but they're also the biggest hash power in all the pools for Callisto. So I usually like to drop down somewhere in the middle but I like their interface, it's great for this video. So that's why we're going with two miners. I will probably switch it in a little bit. But also, look at the rest of the flight sheet. Everything else is basically the same. Um, you can even do on Team Red Miner, you, since it's still an ET hash algorithm, you can still do, in this case, uh, Callisto and Zillica. Yes, it still works just the same. So you still get your Zill. Um, let's go ahead and apply this. Or send it to the moon, whichever you want to say, hit the rocket. And now let's give it a few minutes to load up. And in the meantime, I will also get the two miners page open so we can take a look at it. Okay, so we let the miner run for a little over 11 minutes here. So let's switch on over to two miners. And this is their screen. It's a brand new wallet address. So there's no other information in here. But apparently my luck's doing really good because as you can see, I'm only actually mining at 173 mega hash. At the moment, pool side, I'm getting 250. I'm sure it's not gonna stay there. I, for some reason, I'm just having really good luck with the cards at this moment. And it fluctuates, that's just the way it is. But uh, it is working. So that's basically all it takes to switch on over to another ET hash algorithm. Another reason to do this is when Ethereum is done doing all of its proof of work, hash power is going to go somewhere else, especially those ASICs. They're going to want to jump over to another ET hash algorithm because that's all they can do. So I want to get in on alternative ET hash coins now while you can still get a ton of them before everyone else jumps in and the re amount of rewards you get tanks. So. That's why I'm doing this, and that's why I'm showing this video to everyone. So once I get a couple weeks worth of Callisto coin built up in my wallet, I'm going to revisit this, and we're going to look at staking, and let's stake for a little while, and then see the rewards on it. So there's going to be a few more videos for Callisto in the next month or two. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Come say hi in the Mining Misfits Discord. Link will be down in the video description, and I will see you on the next video.